All right, guys, what's happening? <clears throat> Today we're going to try to do a video on cleaning slugs and pellets. And I know there's a lot of videos already out there, and a lot of this stuff I'm using is from those videos. But um, I just want to show you exactly how I do it and the reason that I do it. And, I mean, you got a $2,000 gun, most of us. You don't want to shoot nasty pellets and slugs through that. And when I pour these out, you'll see there's a lot of chips of, you know, lead, fragments of lead from the swaging process. And so I'm going to try to show you exactly how I clean them. And then after this video, we'll show you some shots from another video. Um on how accurate they are after you do clean them and, and lube them up like we do. All right. Also, if you just stumbled onto this channel, these these are hunting videos a lot of times and animals get killed, so maybe you need to change the channel. All right. We'll get to it, guys. All right, guys, so you're gonna need three things to clean these slugs and pellets. This is a degreaser I use, and that's what I used to start with. Then we spray them off and use some acetone. And then this is a food grade silicone. And that's the last thing we're going to spray on them there. So let's just see if I, this may make a liar out of me, but normally I pour these straight into this plastic thing here, but I'm wanting to show you what's in these. So we're going to put them here. Now, most makers claim that their slugs and pellets are already clean. Yeah, you can see a lot of times in these hollow points when they swage these things, uh, it leaves this chips of lead in there, so. So Justin, let's just pour them in here and do it like I normally do. Here we're gonna, you know, there's more trash in here. But first I'm gonna give them a spray here, Justin, with the flat. And everything I use is plastic, guys, so I don't really want to use metal on this soft lead, so. Quantum 2000. Now, normally I do this longer, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna move right along here. Let me throw it in here, Justin. Now look at that. Come on, that ain't good.
Now you can already see these things are looking a lot better already. Look how shiny they are. Just gently pour them in there and throw some acetone on them here. A bristle more trash here just I mean they're not clean when you get some drying and just amounts to pouring them in the towel. Would you see that Justin? Just make sure they don't fall out. Damn. And guys, we're not going to sit here unless you have to watch me do this, but I like to do it about a hundred times. So now, these things, I like to let them sit out overnight before I do the next step, but we're going to go ahead and that is to put them in the silicone. And you know what, they're still kind of wet, Justin, so I like to make sure they're really, really dry before we do this, but for the sake of the video, we're going to do it, brother. Alright, and now we'll just give this a good shot. And then Justin, I just like to let these things kind of waterfall into the silicone there. Make sure all of them are covered. The next step, we're going to pour them into a different towel that is just for drying. to do this about a hundred times so and you can see where I've done it before how it does polish them up all right so there they are 
They do look a lot better. You want to zoom in just in there? Pretty shiny and coated, so ready for the squirrels. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to show you some footage of we kind of have an infestation of turtles in one of our ponds and if you don't like watching that we'll uh, see you later but we're about to run some headshots on turtles for you all right have a good one Thank <laughs> you. 